welcome to the weekly diabetes. Stuff you should know. I'm Marissa Town, clinical director for CWD. This week we're going to talk about nutrition for people with diabetes. The American Diabetes Association every year puts out standards of care for healthcare professionals so that they know what the latest updates and recommendations are based on current science and studies that have been completed. For 2020, their nutritional recommendations were promoting healthy eating patterns with nutrient-dense food in proper portion sizes, addressing individual needs based on personal and cultural preferences, access to food, and ability to make changes, and then working towards healthy eating patterns, not focusing on one food group or one diet specifically. The goals for these nutritional recommendations are to achieve and maintain healthy body weight, blood sugar, and lipid goals. To meet these goals, they recommend that people focus on three things as opposed to following specific diets or eating a certain percentage of your diet as cal of calories from carbohydrates or fat or protein. They recommend number one, eating non-starchy vegetables, lots of them. So non-starchy vegetables are carrots, green leafy vegetables, green beans, etc. Basically, most vegetables except for peas and corn uh, and potatoes, I don't know if you can even consider that a vegetable. <laughs> Number two, focusing on minimizing added sugars and refined grains. So what this means, and as most of you probably know, if you don't yet, then you will soon. With diabetes, we look at food labels. And so looking at the ingredient list and seeing if there are a lot of added sugars or cornstarch or things like that, and opting for things such as wheat bread, wheat noodles, or other things where you can go whole grain as opposed to white flour. And then number three is to choose whole foods over processed foods when possible. Now this year has been particularly challenging for a lot of people financially, and I would definitely recommend looking into local food pantries and resources that you have, asking your healthcare team if you are in need of getting healthy foods and having a difficult time. An easy way to think about the portion sizes as far as eating these foods is to use the plate method. And this is something I love because it's pretty easy. Um, of course, it also depends on how big your plate is or your bowl to make sure that the portion sizes are appropriate. But what you do with the plate method is when you're looking at your whole plate, half of it should be non-starchy vegetables, those things I said before, carrots, green leafy vegetables, etc. A quarter should be protein and then a quarter should be whole grain carbohydrates. And if you eat in that method, you should be on a good path to meeting your goals. For more information on the plate method and healthy eating tips on a budget, check out myplate.gov. We also have a recorded webinar called Making Food Make Sense with Kim Rose, Registered Dietitian and Diabetes Educator in Orlando, Florida. You can find it on CWD's website under Screenside Chats or CWD's YouTube page, youtube.com backslash CWDiabetes. Thank you for your time, and if there are more topics you're interesting in having, interested in having us feature in the weekly videos, please let us know. You can go to cwd.is backslash feedback or message us on Facebook or Instagram at CWDiabetes. And for more information on upcoming CWD conferences, screenside chats, meetups, and more, please check out our community webpage, cwd.is backslash community. And we have a new part of CWD called CWD Eats coming soon. So stay tuned for that launch with more information on healthy eating, recipes, and more. Stay healthy, take care, and see you next week.